every film shot on a ship is not Titanic. It's it's nothing close to it. It is rather a fresh film. I think I know everybody says that <laughs> this film is really new and all that. No, I didn't have I didn't have any research to do. I mean, I didn't have to method the role and start actually flirting with women. <laughs> Because in the shooting of Man, we really got along really well and we had a roaring time. And she told me that in Akeli and Makili, you were really reserved. <laughs> In, you you weren't mixing with me and you know it was a little strange working with you and akeli amakelo to well uh, after the success of ishq uh, indu and i wanted to work together and uh, he came up with the script which he narrated to me and uh, i heard the script and i liked the script Uh, so I signed the film. What was the uh, particular thing in the score called Stone by Your Side? I shouldn't do this. Well, uh, it's been quite a while since I've done a pure love story. Uh, so I was in the mood of doing love story, and it's uh, it's a very sensitive film. Uh, and I I like the you know. the emotional content of the story and uh, it's very moving and <clears throat> so that's what i liked about the story i just feel as a love story but what is the whole backdrop of the film well uh, it's it's how like most love stories are two people meet and fall in love and then there is a conflict in the love which they overcome <clears throat> so in 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 broadly speaking it follows those parameters what is fresh for me is that uh the character of of devkaran singh which i play in the film is that of a playboy and casanova which i haven't played earlier and uh, so the character is very interesting and he is quite an insensitive person towards women <laughs> in the sense that he gets them to fall in love and then uh he himself doesn't fall in love with any girl uh, until he meets somebody who he does fall in love with there were rumors about there is thing that the backdrop is the titanic the ship and so what do you say about that well that is a completely untrue rumor it has no similarity to titanic uh i think some of the film press when the film began they assumed that it's titanic because one of the schedules we shot on a ship but uh every film shot on a ship is not titanic it's it's nothing close to it so how is your character developed in the film does <clears throat> it mean i would play what that to it changes to the end well uh you should see the film for that <laughs> something about the character uh well he he's actually a very charming person very uh you know he has a way with women and uh somehow they all seem to trust him and <laughs> believe that he is very much in love with each of them whereas actually he is not and uh in fact he is a very talented person which as the film goes along you discover that he is he is a painter he is a very good painter and uh you know he he has a lot of knowledge about a lot of things he is very talented very intelligent but he never uses that he he doesn't use that he has no profession when the film begins he just uh, you know uh lives off whatever wealth he had inherited perhaps and uh lives off rich women and you know <laughs> so uh, so that's the kind of guy he is no he is not rooted at all he's you know one day he's here the next day he's somewhere else and uh enjoying his life and not really thinking of the consequences or anything so was it very demanding for you or it was spontaneous it was nothing to work on it like well i had two role models in front of me uh indra kumar and ashok thakariya <laughs> so i didn't have much working to do just had to observe them but uh well uh anything happened you can do it sir No, I didn't have I didn't have any research to do. I mean, I didn't have to method the role and start actually flirting with women. <laughs> But 
so I just mostly use my imagination and try to understand the mind of the character as it is in the script and uh, uh, the character undergoes a major change actually as you had asked earlier and and you know it's I mean the first time in life he's hit in his heart <laughs> and and so it's quite an interesting graph of the character so the title is just a function of man well man is uh, um man means heart or your conscience or your inner voice and uh, one of the things that the film tries to say is that you should listen to your inner voice because your inner voice never lies to you many times in life we <clears throat> um we are tempted to do things uh we do a lot of things which somewhere at the back of the mind we know it's not right to do and we prefer to listen to our mind our brain and we don't listen to our inner voice so the film kind of tries to say that listen to your inner voice because your inner voice always tells you the truth and guides you correctly that is why the title man and uh in fact in one of the songs also it, it in the lyrics it is used uh, in that context uh so that's by the title man you have been working at manisha ali also and yeah. how did work in your and this what it talking the film well actually yeah it was quite different um earlier i did akele hum akele tum with her and uh a lot of the times i mean most of the film we are apart you know <laughs> so we didn't have so many scenes together um and and even the scenes that we had together we were constantly fighting <laughs> i mean not on the set but in the scenes you know the scenes are very dramatic and emotional and uh, a lot of pain and the relationship is quite uh, difficult so uh so this is quite a different experience because this is a love story in which both of us are supposed to uh have a lot of very positive interaction and uh i think that uh during the shooting of akele hum akele tum i used to be quite uh aloof and alone so that uh i mean before shooting for akele hum akele tum i didn't know manisha you know we hadn't met or socially we did, we were never interacting so when we came to the shooting stage i used to uh, try and stay aloof from her so that that lack of chemistry or the tension between us you know comes out on screen even in the scenes um uh, in fact on in the shooting of man because in the shooting of man we really got along really well and uh, we had a roaring time and so she uh, she you know she told me that in akele hum akele tum you were really reserved <laughs> in, you you weren't mixing with me and you know it was a little strange working with you in akele hum akele tum so then i told her i said the reason i was keeping away was in the film that tension between us is required so if i got to pali with you then uh i mean maybe it wouldn't show but it's just a psychological thing for myself that uh i like the tension between her and me in akele hum akele tum so in man it was quite different and you know we uh had a great time shooting it was really relaxed she's a lovely person and she's great to work with um she uh, really understands what the scene is and what what the moment is uh so it's been a real pleasure working with her the core of you was what could be the numbers of the show the freshness the freshness of the film the freshness of the film well uh I think I could sit here deep in pain with the selection here. I think it is uh it is rather a fresh film. I think I know everybody says that <laughs> this film is really new and all that. But see, broadly in terms of of the genre of a love story, it follows the normal pattern of a love story where two people meet, the process of falling in love. Now, the process of falling in love is always the most interesting in a love story. because 
you want to see how these two actually finally do fall in love and uh, that i think has come out really well in one and um, and then obviously it depends on the way you treated the scenes and the way each scene has been written so i think a lot of freshness is there in in this in in the in the sense that initially he's the my character is just playing around with manisha he's not seriously in love with her because of the kind of person he is um so there's a lot of freshness in that approach and uh and i think the kind of problem they face i have not seen on screen before the kind of conflict that does come about in their relationship uh it might have been made long back but i i don't remember seeing a film uh, of this nature so it is quite a fresh script and uh and you know all the scenes are really fresh i really enjoyed doing all the scenes it does a lot so so the music but they have an important group so how does the music go in film well yes the music does play a very important part in the film uh like i guess it does in every film uh i think the music has complemented the film very well the kind of the kind of story it is you know it's a very uh smooth flowing kind of a uh story and uh, the music has that quality i think and sanjeev and darshan the composers of this film have really understood the feel of the film and have brought that into the music and i i feel that uh, i really like all the songs and i i feel that uh, you know as you hear them they have a, a very strong tendency to grow on you and um, that is really the kind of music that you know lasts long and and i think also when when people see it in the film they really they like the songs much more when they see it in the film How is Hindu as a director compared to other directors? How what is different? Well, Hindu uh, I've worked with uh, twice before, in Dil and in Ishq, and he's uh, always great fun to work with. He's got a he's got an amazing sense of humor, and uh, he's very clear in his mind what he wants out of the film and and how he wants to make it, which is a big help for not only the actors but everybody in the unit. and uh, uh he's he's great to work with he's very good to work with he's very passionate about you know the film that he's making uh he's you know constantly uh, the only thing on his mind is the film that he's making which uh, is very good he's he's got a very strong sense of music um and uh i think he he just knows how to give the audience a good time 